Hi, welcome to Waters. My name is Kevin Michaels. I sell here. Uh, I want to encourage you to come to our Saturday classes if you have any questions about how to plant or what to plant. Get to know some gardeners in the neighborhood, some people with like interest. I want to talk to you today about not a particular plant, but adding drama into your landscape. When you are, we have several people come in and they want to put a whole row. I've got 60 feet I want to cover with a green plant. I want you to think about their end caps. What are you going to put in the middle of that? Say you decide to do evergreen uh, euphorbia or um, euonymus, that'd be great. How about some coral bark maple in the middle of that up against that evergreen? That would really set it off, you know, add some drama to the yard. These um, ornamental cherries, weeping cherries, you don't see this shape anywhere else. So you're gonna, you're, uh, your eyes are going to be immediately drawn to that in your yard. There's a little extra drama to that, a little more character. It's a pretty attractive tree when it's naked, but when it's in bloom and it's got these leaves on it, it's just spectacular. I also like to use these as a, what I would refer to as a neighborhood directional plant. If you're giving somebody directions to your house for dinner or something like that, how about where you see the coral bark turn right? That's a really nice piece. Um, we also get a couple of things where people will buy they like purple leaf plums because they're pink when they bloom in the spring, so they'll buy five. Well, you, you lose the uniqueness. It's okay if you want the yard with all the purple in it, but think about drama is going to come from separating it and what it's going to set next to. So this shows off by a shape. I want a little bit more of a vertical shape. This crab apple is going to give you great pink flowers plus a really nice purpley leaf, and then it's going to give you some drama in the fall as well when it changes colors again very very attractive and because of its shape when these get big it's really something to stand out in your yard a good directional plant or a really neat solo solo plant in the backyard now likewise with some of your evergreens you've got a lot of evergreens well one of the big uh, keys or questions that we get are um, requests i had a hot tub in my backyard i didn't have any neighbors now i've got neighbors and they can see me they want to buy a really nice thick evergreen that's great. We have these um, Austrians that cut up really nice. They're really beautiful trees. But you want to throw a little pizzazz. You want to throw a little drama in there. You get yourself an ice cypress, a blue ice cypress. Look at the contrast there. If you put five of them, you lose the drama. You put one against your green, you got really spectacular, uh, really, really pretty. If you want a, uh, this pink bloom that we had talked about on some of these um, you know, both of these trees are going to open up with pink flowers. This is going to open up with a pink flower. This is a Merlot red bud. What's beautiful about this is after he blooms, then he sets his leaves. The leaves are going to be this nice, big, round heart shape that are going to be Merlot color, dark, dark, burgundy red. And then they're going to go into green, and then you're going to get a little bit more drama in the fall when it loses its leaves. Very, very key plant. One that people don't think of when they think of Arizona, let alone Prescott, is a magnolia. This particular species, the uh, Leonard Messel, is, as you see, not evergreen. He's going to bloom before he puts his leaves out. He is just absolutely spectacular, kind of akin to a dogwood. Really, really pretty. Nice, beautiful leaves, dark green foliage, really pretty plant great directional plant down by the driveway or to break up a hedge or as a solo in the backyard in the springtime. The beautiful thing about buying something that's going to lose its leaves, if you have a view behind it, once this tree grows naked, then it's out of your way and you can see past it. You can see the thumb buttes and the granite mountains of your yard. See you on Saturday.